going on guys and welcome back to some more Majora's Mask in this part we're going to uh, tackle the southern swamp we're going to go from the southern swamp and I'm going to teach you how to get to uh not woodfall but uh what the hell am I trying to say take your palace anyway so uh there is going to be an owl statue right towards here which I would suggest slaying with your sword because we will like need to uh the Owl Statue will eventually have their own purposes, but not quite yet. And we're actually got Daisy Stick for the first time. Hey, remember the land title that we got back in Clock Town? If you're doing completionist run, you're gonna have to uh give it to that business scrub up there as not actually not as Daisy Link. I've forgotten his footage, but I think you have to uh get his human link. Yeah, so human link. We're actually gonna get a part piece up there. You have to do this in all four areas if you're doing a completionist run because that's how you get all the heart pieces. Okay, so now we're going to put on the Deku mask. Interesting, uh, even though we got a piece of heart, but interesting is uh, I just got a Windows 11 and like it's a touch screen. I had to like try to like put some dust off my laptop and I just like just I just like uh accidentally zoomed out of the editing software in the process because that's I'm watching the footage and doing the commentaries I've made it clear and past videos it's pre-recorded. So we're actually going to uh, go right here and um we're actually gonna visit this uh we're gonna go up that ladder. First we're gonna see what's in here. Okay we just ripping and there's like no, none of those moving bushes or anything like that. I should also point out that now we have five hearts because we got that heart piece in the southern swamp. Anyway, so we're gonna climb up this ladder right here, and uh, I think we, I don't think this shop allows Deku's though. Anyway, so, um, and welcome to the only returning boss in Ocarina of Time. This is, uh, I, I get their names mixed up, but I think this is Kotake, but I could be mixed up. Her role is basically use, use one mass to sniff mushrooms and you can basically get a blue potion that way, but that, we can't do that yet. But, like, yeah, eventually we're going to end up in this, uh... We're gonna end up in this hole right here. So let's go in this cave. Actually, come to think of it, it actually plays the uh, Lost Woods theme, Knocking of Time. And it's very much like the Lost Woods, Knocking of Time, except you're following the monkey. He's basically gonna guide us our way through. He'll try to trick us and like go to a place we don't have to go through, so yeah, don't, um, don't fall for that. There's these turtle images which you can only kill with the uh, Deku flowers. I would I wouldn't kill them. I just try to avoid them at all costs and basically just like follow the monkey. The Deku the Deku link definitely makes us makes us go faster. Yeah, so there's a I think this is Kotake, but I could mix up anyway. So um, we can't talk towards a Deku, but we can talk towards a human. Anyway, so our, we basically want to give her a red potion, but we don't have a bottle. So we're going to go back to Konume, I think it is. I don't know, if anyone in the comments wants to uh, correct me on these bosses, like, I get their names mixed up. So, like, and I don't feel like going, going on Zelda Dungeon. In the middle of it, recording a commentary. Anyway, so now we are going to go back to Konume. Speak to her. My potions work very well, do they? Look. Oh, that's Kotake. Never mind, because I just saw the text saying it's Kanume. So yeah, I did get them mixed up. I thought that was Kanume. So yeah, we have to deliver the uh, potion Kanume. Kanume is the one we're delivering the potion to. Yeah, I definitely get their names mixed up. And they're, they're not only returning boss in Ocarina of Time. 
Aside from Happy Mask Salesman, they're the only characters in Ocarina of Time that flat out returned in this game with their original names. Zelda briefly appears, but that's aside the point. She only appears in a flashback. Well, I was getting those rupees where I could have easily just gotten five rupees in the, uh, pot. Anyway, so now we are going to, uh, now we're going to follow this monkey again, but, uh, you def you have to follow him twice if you want to get the, uh, I don't know if you exactly have to follow him twice, but in this, uh, recording I didn't follow him twice. Just do the same thing you did last time, nothing special. Except I did actually fall on that, so uh, I did have to catch up with the monkey a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to, uh... What? You actually can drink that potion in Konume's face. So, uh, yeah, don't do that if, unless you want to be a massive prick. But yeah, give her the red potion. Now that we've saved Kanuma, we actually have to go back to the beginning of the Southern Swamp because uh, I think I demonstrated it right here, but uh, we're going to talk to these monkeys. So uh, they want us to save their buddy that's captive, that's being captive by the Deku. So that's also the side part of, uh, of uh, Woodfall. We have 91 rupees. When it gets to night of the first day, and a late, and we're gonna we're gonna have to do a few more things, but uh, that'll be a subject of the, one of the subsequent videos. I guess we took advantage of free rupees in these bushes. So now we are actually, I think I actually demonstrate why we, uh, in this recording, you see, yeah, if you go in this area, I'm just gonna demonstrate it. Basically, to skip across water, uh, you have to, uh, if it reaches zero, you basically fall down and it just respawn. So yeah, there'll be that thing that you can't kill unless you have the bow and arrow, which we don't have it yet. If you have the bow and arrow, you're gonna skip the main part of Southern Swamp. So, yeah. so all we have left to do is basically go back to the start of Southern Swamp. We have to find a way to get past that uh that uh, that blockade. So that's Kanume. Now we're actually, uh, we're gonna use that pictograph box, which, uh, there are, there's one heart piece that we can get with this pictograph box, and there are two ways we can get this piece of heart. In this, in this playthrough, I will show both ways. Alright, so now, uh, basically we have to ride this boat. You, what? Never really, I always found kind of disturbing, and I don't know if I demonstrate it in this playthrough, but like, if you hold the C stick at a correct angle, you can look up skirt and Link. I just find that creepy. Because, like, Link's like what? Link's like, I think, maybe 10 years old Ocarina of Time. This takes place maybe a few years after Ocarina of Time. So creepy, though. Yeah, that boat is basically how we get to Deku Palace, and uh, next time in Majora's Mask, we, I will teach you how to get through Deku Palace, so I will see you guys next time. Later. Bye.